Welcome back everybody. This is Eric from Moss Pawn and Gun. Today we're talking about a very, very special rifle. This is the uh, Mauser Model 1891 Argentine. This has the distinction of being one of the first uh, military Mauser rifles ever produced. Okay, the uh, Mauser brothers, uh, Peter and Paul Mauser, um, you know, set out to basically introduce a new rifle to the world. You know, the period in history that was known as the transitional period was a very, very interesting time in military history because smokeless powder had just been invented by the French and uh, there was just a lot of people out there that wanted the new smokeless uh, rifles. The Russians started out with the 1891 and the Mosin, obviously a very uh, awesome rifle, but the French were the first ones to develop uh, smokeless powder. Once smokeless powder was developed, it pretty much made every black powder rifle in the world obsolete at that time. The Mauser brothers were just like any other uh, group of people. They were enterprising businessmen and they wanted to uh, produce a rifle um, that they could sell for export. Um, they did co go to Germany um, with the 1891, the German government, to try to sell it to them or you know, get them to decide on the rifle. The 1888 commission rifle was still in use. So you have to think that it was only about a three year period between when the War Commission developed the 1888 and when the 1891 was actually developed. Um, the first batch of 1891 rifles were delivered to Argentina. They were the first country to actually say, hey, you know, we like this rifle, we want it. And uh, this really is the first truly modern rifle to ever be produced. This particular example is a second year production produced in 1892. It has the wooden handguard on top of the action here, which um, they omitted this later on as they were producing these. But the first three or four years of production all have the little wooden handguard on top. Um, adjustable tangent sights, um, fires the 7.65 by 53 millimeter Argentine. It's basically a uh, Spitzer style um, bullet that's running out at around uh, 21 to 2200 feet per second and uh, utilizes a 311 diameter projectile. Pretty typical fare for the day. That's about uh, what most of the rifles like the Mosin and uh, a few of the others were doing. As you know, Mauser uh, was famous for producing the 98 uh, rifle, the Mauser 98. Many of you, when you think of a Mauser, you're thinking of a Mauser 98. This is a 91. The design actually changed uh, quite a bit as time went on. This particular version has two forward locking lugs which when the bolt is rotated into place, they lock into uh, an interface inside of the receiver. There's no third safety lug. Later on, as the, the Mauser brothers improved the uh, design, um, you know, they were able to add a third safety lug on the bolt, shorten up the gun, make it a little bit more modern. But this rifle, as you see it, is pretty much the first Mauser rifle ever. And uh, these things are beautifully finished, wonderful parts, very well made. We're going to shoot the gun a little bit for you today. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something about this rifle. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I can speak for you guys when I say that um, you really can't look at this rifle and not appreciate uh, the fine craftsmanship that went into their manufacture. They really are just beautifully made guns. Uh, this was back when people um, that produced guns, you know, they put a lot of pride into, what, into their work and what they did. And um, back then, militaries also had a very... Um, almost a, a sort of a, an approach of chivalry when it came to uh, their firearms. You know, they didn't want their uh, soldiers going into combat with some junky ass gun and a bunch of crummy, ugly uniforms. This was back when armies wanted to, their soldiers to look good. They wanted them to be equipped with the best rifle that they possibly could afford to give their army. And whoever was armed with an 1891, in 1891, was armed with the absolute apex of military rifle technology. I mean, this is like the Tavor or SCAR of 1891. This was the cat's meow. But uh, as they say, the proof's in the pudding. We're gonna shoot the gun for you today. I think this is gonna be a very fun little video. These rifles shoot quite nicely, as you're about to see. All right, we're out here doing a little bit of shooting today with our little 1891 Argentine Mauser. Just gonna play a little bit here. First one's at 250. Oh yeah. Right on the money. Let's try that gong at 300.
Wow, this thing is shooting nice. You know, one thing I can say about this rifle is it's definitely just smooth. I mean, everything on it, the action, uh, the raceway for the bolt and everything. I mean, the trigger. For this rifle to be kind of one of the introductory Mauser rifles, I mean, this is the quintessential uh, Mauser rifle. I mean, this is the first modern rifle ever produced. See, a lot of people used to say that the 1891s were the last antique rifle. I disagree. I think they are the first modern rifle. Um, you know, this is a hundred and almost 20 year old rifle. Uh, this particular one is a second year production. So this was produced in 1892. You can see that uh, she's still got it going. See if we can pick up the pace a little bit. Oh yeah, beautiful rifle. Function meets form. Two fifty. Two fifty. Shoots like a dream. All right, I'm gonna take a few shots with the Argentine Mauser here at uh, some steel targets between about 100 yards and 300 yards, and uh, just see how she does. We haven't really missed at all today with this thing. Kind of hard to miss with a rifle this accurate. Oh yeah. That thing doesn't play, does it? Child's play. 300 yard, 22 inch round dong. Ooh, just under it. So you time. had to talk about missing, man. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, this is a real beautiful rifle. I mean, they really just don't make them like this anymore. I mean, first year production Mauser rifle. Just some features of this thing that are just on par with some of the really high end precision rifles of today. I mean, even some of the features really surpass those kind of rifles. Let's see if we can try this 300 yard gong again. You can't miss with it, dude. Ah, just grazed him, a <laughs> little guy.
beautiful rifle. This thing is just so much fun to shoot. It really is. You guys know that I'm in, into, you know, the military surplus guns. But uh, tell you what, this thing's a game changer. If you've never shot an 1891, you owe it to yourself. Fine shooting rifle here. Brisk ejection, that's for sure. <laughs> just under it. Definitely more accurate than I am. I guess that's saying a lot. Or a little. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, this thing is just sweet. Yeah. Might have a few rounds left in my pocket here. One thing about this round, you know, I know this is the first smokeless uh, Mauser round that was ever developed, but uh, man, it's a jackhammer. Definitely not for a lack of power, that's for sure. That was a little gong. Ooh, just beside it. All right, one last one. Let's try one more shot at about 250 yards here. It's one way to do it, people. Awesome. Good shot. There we go. I appreciate you guys watching my video today. This 1891 um, Argentine Mauser is just a beautiful firearm in general. Um, you really just have to appreciate the craftsmanship that went into making them. Uh, if you do your part, you can't miss with this rifle. Uh, I know a lot of you guys always ask me about rifles and you know, hey, what's your favorite Millsurp? You know, what, what kind of Millsurp rifle should I buy? And uh, hopefully this video will answer for you to some degree uh, what you probably need to be looking at. The 1891 is a wonderful rifle. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you next time.